There's been a major huge update on the N64 games that are coming to the NSO library with the expansion pack. And there's also been some rumors that this new Nintendo Switch OLED model will feature 4K support. So we got to talk about all that today. What's up, Centurion Fusion here, back at it with all the latest Nintendo gaming news. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe to join the Fusion, hit that like button, and smash that notification bell so you're always up to date with all the latest Nintendo gaming news. Nintendo, man Nintendo, they just recently announced and confirmed these N64 games will be playable in 68Z and not just 58Z. To get into the story though, according to NintendoLife.com, Nintendo Switch Online N64 games will be 68Z in Europe after all, with 58Z options also available. Nintendo of Europe announced, all Nintendo 64 games included with Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack can be played in 68Z English language versions. Select games will also have the option to play the original European PAL version with language options. So that's awesome, you know, I'm an American, I didn't really have to worry about that from the get-go, but all you European people out there in that PAL region, you know, that good old PAL region, you don't gotta sweat it. No need to sweat it because you got you got what you need. You got the 68Z just like us Americans do, you, so you have it overseas as well. Now, to get into the last and final topic of today's video, there has been some rumors on this new Nintendo Switch OLED model that it could potentially, in the near future even, be seeing some 4K support you know, on its screen. So that's, that's something pretty neat. According to NME.com, Nintendo Switch OLED is rumored to support 4K output in the future. So yeah, it goes on to say better screens all around, and I could not agree more. Speculation on this began when Twitter user Cyrus M data mined the Switch OS, or operating system, back in January of 2021. The new Switch model, which was then codenamed OLA, had firmware support for a Realtek chip advertised as 4K UHD Multimedia SoC. They also use this data to predict that the new console would feature an OLED screen. Since the console was released on October 8, editor for Source Gaming, Columns, has been testing out the hardware. Opening his dock, revealed the DP2 HDMI chip, with the number on the chip confirming that it is the 4K Realtek chip Cyrus M predicted through their data mine. Speaking with Enemy, Colum said my theory is that Nintendo could add maybe a 4K output and or HDR with the firmware update. The Switch seemed to recently add an updated dock function that's only for the new OLED dock, but it's not used for what I presumed would be a day one update, he also noted. It does mean they plan to update the dock for whatever reason. Columns also revealed he tested the HDMI cable which came with the system by using it with their Xbox One X. This confirms that the cable is at least HDMI 2.0 compliant, significant as the original system only supports HDMI 1.4. This upgraded HDMI support would help the system output in 4K. Finally, he spotted that the Nintendo customer support has added a page detailing how you can update the firmware on your dock. The original Nintendo Switch has not required users to do this to date. This suggests that much like how Bluetooth support was added to Switch consoles post-release, a 4K compatible output update could come to consoles in the future. It goes on to say, so far it appears that the possibility to upgrade the new dock to output at 4K resolution is there, but that Nintendo have no plans to use this feature in the immediate future. That's the thing, it looks like this OLED model, it's a great system and it is in fact capable of producing this 4K quality on its screen. So that's something to be excited about. It just kind of sucks that Nintendo's not planning on using that, you know, using its full potential in other words, but it is something cool to note and to think that Nintendo could probably use this in the near future or even somewhat far future, that's pretty cool. But here's to hoping, fingers crossed, that they do so. But yeah, what are your thoughts? If you're European, are you excited that these N64 games are 68Z versus 58Z? Come on, let me know down in the comments below. Also, 
Are you excited about the potential possibility of this new Nintendo Switch OLED to feature 4K quality? Let me know all down in the comments below, please. Also, make sure to subscribe to join the Fusion, hit that like button, and smash that notification bell so you're always up to date with all the latest Nintendo gaming news. Alright, Centurion Fusion, out. <laughs>